but I uh, I caught some advertisements for this game and saw that it just came out, and it looks right up my alley, so I figured let's go ahead and give this one a go. So this one is called Dyson Sphere Program. It is a manufacturing and resource management type of game. You go from planet to planet, or that's the idea anyways, build your factory up and and make it booming. I don't know if there's a whole lot of defending in there where you got to defend against aliens, but I read a lot of reviews and it's a basically a mix of Factorio and Satisfactory put together. And the graphics look pretty good and the reviews said that the gameplay was pretty good. It is an early access, but we'll see we'll see how this goes. So it, it looked up my alley when I when I watched the videos. Uh, we are going to be starting a new game in here, so I haven't even jumped in the game yet. Uh, I just watched some videos and kind of learned what it was about. So we're going to dive into it here. Just as I was uh, preparing my stream here, I just kind of looked at this whole diagram that we got in front of us. So this is just a random universe that's going to spawn. And this got me super excited because you may not know this about me, but I, I'm kind of a... I wouldn't say astrology buff but i'm an enthusiast like i like the universe and stars i love sci-fi so like when i saw this type of like stars and whatnot i was like hmm and then i started looking at some of these stars here and i noticed that there's no planets so i don't know how that's gonna work are each are we landing on stars or planets around each of these stars and then i thought okay which one of these stars would be good to to like go to and i noticed that they have the neutron stars, the white dwarfs, the black holes, all that good stuff. And I was like, mm, I don't remember the life of a star. So, like, if I go to, like, a planet that's about to blow up or a star that's about to blow up, <laughs> I, that wouldn't be a good thing. So I just wanted to look up, see if this even matters or if the, the cycles change of the stars. Uh, but this is pretty cool. So you have your red giants and red super giants and this is basically when things are about to go boom <laughs> at those two stages so red and orange and it looks like they tr stay true to the color in that map there so the ones that are dormant are going to be the white dwarfs or just the average and massive stars so if we look here you got your yellow or basically your normal stars the red are the red giants and then you also got your your super giants but they have the other types and it looks like we have a blue giant in the corner here so that'll be fun i don't think we can pick our starting yeah it doesn't allow us to select we can just look at these different ones which is pretty cool so i'll just leave everything default number of stars resource multiplier one that's really the only options they give us here and we're going to dive into it we're going to start building our way on each of these planets. Ooh, quick load time. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our home world. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time? I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. The largest star is a hundred million times bigger than the sun. I believe it. I super believe it. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain. Oh yeah, we gotta build a sphere for energy. Which has necessary resources for initial development. Now, please drive the space capsule to the planet. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> no promises. Here we go, baby. This seems like a very Earth like planet. Like, the, the ship doesn't look super detailed, but it looks detailed enough. Where this is going to turn into be super cool. This one is, has a weird name. Oh god, take over. <laughs> I don't want to land this thing. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to crash. A cute little planet. Look, I can see stone. I can see iron deposits. Yeah, soft little landing. plug these in and we are now assembling our Tesla towers which will be congregating over here somewhere Again, I like how it's just a box with a giant frickin' tower in it. <laughs> Aw, Tuna, what's what was sad? What's sad, Tuna? Alright. I think one assembler on the towers for now is okay. I don't think we need to duplicate those. Uh, let's do... Let's do make some wind turbines, though. Now that we have splitters, we have everything coming over here that we need for this. We can just put it over here. <laughs> you just like the sad kitty? Tuna, you broke my screen, dude. Again. You're always making me fix my screen. Fountain, how are you doing tonight? Thanks for popping into the stream. Welcome to the mixing pot. I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put this assembly machine. We need an assembly machine for the assembly machines. Ooh, I never put a storage bin for these circuit chips. Ooh, that was not smart of me. Uh... All right, we gotta break this temporarily. We are gonna store some of these chips for later use. And of course, we need a power tower, for lack of a better word. The <laughs> cookie power! I love it. I love the hands. I would have never thought to do that. People are so creative. I love it. Cohan, thank you. So, oh, we don't need circuit boards for that. That's why. We just need gears, which we're making. Iron plates, which are coming in at a sp steady speed. So we'll put it over here. Can I pick these up off the belt? Is there, is there a button for that? I just want to pick it up. I want to pick it up off the belt. I can copy the conveyor belt. All right, this is not making circuits fast enough for my liking. So we're gonna make a second one. Here's how we're gonna do this. I'm actually gonna move this for now over 